past two weeks, we've seen story after story that illustrates the power of nature. Nine News anchor Ward Lucas and photojournalist Anna Mitchell show us nature can also be fragile and gentle. Even its most delicate creatures can teach us some lessons about life. They showed up on May 6th this year. The bleating, high-pitched whine filled the skies as they scoped out the neighborhood feeders and began their chaotic aerial maneuvers, staking out territory for the summer. For weeks, they fussed and fluttered and fretted and built tiny nests in the scrub oak. The nests aren't much bigger than a whisper, a fragile speck of life, a promise of things to come. As the evenings got warmer, the aerobatics went from beautiful to death-defying, dive-bombing, showing off. The babies in late July were gentle at first, but they quickly learned to be adults, pushing and shoving and laying claim to the best. In that respect, hummingbirds are a lot like people. No matter how much of the good stuff they get, they either want it all or don't think anyone else should have any. Here's another life lesson. Stretch out a hand and see if you can make someone trust you. And if they do, don't betray the trust. There's an old cliche you sometimes hear from well-meaning friends. They say, take time to smell the roses. Maybe that's what hummingbirds are for. They teach us to take some time to be still and listen. They'll be leaving us in a few days to follow the sun a thousand miles south. They graced us this summer and perhaps taught us a thing or two. This is Ward Lucas. I asked Ward how he captured that rare moment of the hummingbird on his hand. He would not divulge his secret, joking that he simply stood there for five weeks. <laughs> and in Ward's case, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Very persistent. For the shot, yeah. Absolutely. What nice. a beautiful day.